In this episode, the scene starts at school, at that time Takemichi is talking to Chifuyu. Takemichi said, I see, so currently it's not 12 years ago, huh? This time, I time left 2 years less, which is 10 years ago. Chifuyu said, well now that Mikey is your trigger to time travel. Going back to the future won't be so easy. Then Takemichi asked, you're right. What is Mikey up to now? Chifuyu was silent for a moment hearing Takemichi's question. But at that moment Yamagishi suddenly appeared and heard Takemichi's question. Oh, I see Takemichi is curious about the delinquent world? That's rare. As we already know, Yamagishi is the walking delinquent Wikipedia. Then Yamagishi gave a short lecture about the world of delinquents. It's been two years since Tokyo Manji disbanded. The power relations in Tokyo has changed drastically. Especially after the sudden dissolution of the reigning champion Tokyo Manji. Tokyo's delinquent world was in chaos. Many gangs who claimed that they're the next powerhouse were defeated again and again, it became a messy civil war. The conflict was then called Tokyo Sengoku period. However during those times, three charismatic individuals put the chaos to an end. Indeed. Based in Minato Ward, he who has the greatest power and influence, representing Rokuhara Tandai, Toronto South. Then based in Shinjuku Ward, he who governs the strongest gang that works in the shadows, the boss of Brahma, Kawaragi Senju. And finally based in Shibuya Ward, the invincible Kanto Manji Gang, their president, Sano Manjiro. And because of these three gangs, Tokyo is now on balance. They call it the era of three deities. Takemichi was surprised to hear Yamagishi's explanation. There are two people on the same level as Mikey. For a moment Takemichi started to think. Kanto Manji gang? What is going on here? If he's going to make yet another gang, then why disband Tokyo Manji? Then Takemichi remembered Mikey's words in the video, which he found in the time capsule. Please, don't get yourself involved in this. I'm definitely not pleasant to be around with. That's right. So that's why, he made a whole new gang. In the midst of Takemichi's thoughts, Chifuyu called out to him. Hey Takemichi. Are you spacing out again? You must be thinking a lot about Mikey, huh? But isn't there a certain someone that you have to make up with? Make up? Without thinking. After hearing Chifuyu's words Takemichi ran to meet Hina. In the middle of the crowd Takemichi prostrates and apologizes to Hina. Then while crying Takemichi said, I'm sorry Hina. I bailed out on our own wedding and died. Hina who heard Takemichi's words was surprised. Then she said, you came back? After that, the two of them went somewhere. Takemichi said, Hina, it all makes sense to me now. In the end. It won't end until I save Mikey. Then Hina said, yeah. But let's say if you made a wrong choice, and end up on yet another bad ending. Even if that happens, I will always cheer you on. Touched by Hina's words, Takemichi made up his mind. I will bring down Sano Manjiro. Mikey's whereabouts are revealed, and Takemichi's final battle starts. Takemichi goes back 10 years to save Mikey. The next day after school was over, Takemichi said to Chifuyu. So how am I going to bring down Mikey? Then Chifuyu said, don't just blurt out random things all of the sudden Takemichi. Takemichi said, but I'm being serious here. Then Chifuyu came up with a solution. Well then, maybe we need a reunion with the boys. Obviously, since the Tokyo Manji gang is no more. We need some strength to go against Mikey's Kanto Manji gang. What's up? Hake suddenly comes and greets them. What are you guys talking about? It seems interesting. Takemichi turned his head and thought he can't tell Hake about the current situation. Then Hake said, also, don't you guys look extremely free right now? Follow me. After that the two of them followed Hake to go somewhere. Takemichi was surprised after arriving at that place. 
Yakuza, it's the real deal? Then someone greets Takemichi. Long time no see. Takemichi. Who are you? Come on man. It's me Hayashida Haruki. Takemichi looked surprised, because that person was Pachin, who had been released from Juvi. Then Matsuya said, what kind of joke are you making? That's old news. What a coincidence they had gathered at that place. Then Peyin who was at the place said, what's up Takemichi? You looking for a room too? Takemichi was surprised, it turned out that Peyin was also in that place. Then Hake said, you are searching for a room to rent, Matsuya? Matsuya said, yeah, I was thinking of renting a small atelier room. Takemichi was thinking for a moment, of course. That's why Pachin and Peyin run a real estate company in the future. Then in this scene, in this scene, they are seen busy choosing the room to rent for the future. Everyone's grown up well. Then Chifuyu said, that's right Takemichi. Why not invite them for your plan now? If these guys are in, we're gonna have some incredible strength on our side, that's for sure. Takemichi said, you are not wrong. But let's not do that. Chifuyu looks wondering with Takemichi's word. After that, they went home by train, on the way Hake said, man. Those guys are amazing. Takemichi asked, what do you mean? They are moving forward, you know. I gotta keep up. Takemichi said, you're fine where you are, Hake. Don't worry about it, I'm sure you will become someone great. Hake wonder, me? How are you so sure about it? After arriving at the station they split up to go home. Chifuyu said, Why didn't you tell them about your plan? It was such a good chance since they were all there. Then with a smile, Takemichi said, Well, I can't help it, they are really a bunch of hardworking people. They got plans ahead, there's no way I can invite them. I see. I wonder if there's someone else. Then suddenly Chifuyu's phone rang. Oh shit. I need to go for my part-time job. Sorry Takemichi. I gotta go. Takemichi wondering. Part-time? Then Takemichi secretly followed Chifuyu. A pet shop? Now that I think about it, he is a pet shop owner in 10 years time. Takemichi realized something. I see. There's no way they will get themselves involved in fights. It's not like how it was in middle school. Chifuyu has a dream. Matsuya has a dream. Pachin and Peyin. Hake. Everyone in Tokyo Manji has their own personal goals. On that day when Tokyo Manji was dissolved. I told Mikey about the future where everyone dies. And now, two years later. Then Takemichi remembered Mikey's promise in the past, everyone in Tokyo Manji, and also Hina. I swear to protect all of you. This is the future that Mikey to has sworn to protect. I can't let them get involved in this. I gotta do it on my own. Suddenly Takemichi's phone rings. Turns out it was a call from Draken. Draken said, Takemichi, are you free to come by for a bit? After a joyous reunion with friends from the past, Draken calls to meet. After that Takemichi went to Draken's workshop. It's been a while, Draken. At that time Dakin looked very busy with his bike. Then Draken said, yeah. And I just finished fixing this CB250T. A bike? Yeah, sorry for the delay. The parts one ordered just arrived after waiting for so long. Why don't you go out for a try? Long story short, on the way to Kemichi tells about everything that happens in the future to Draken. Draken said, So you are back from the future? To Kemichi said, Yeah. Mikey has always helped me. So this time, it's my turn. Then Draken said, But there's nothing that we can do about Mikey. To Kemichi wonders, What do you mean? Draken said, well, I can't really say. But we the former Tokyo Manji members, are good people. Mikey on the other hand, wishes to pursue the opposite path. That is why he left us all. He is not the same person as he was in Tokyo Manji. 
Do you understand? He will not hold back and think twice about killing you. Suddenly seen from the opposite direction, a bike approached them at high speed. Seen at that time Inui who was battered was dragged away, then Inui was thrown at Takemichi and Draken. Luckily at that time, Takemichi was able to dodge, and Inui was able to land safely. So, let's jazz things up. Nocturne. One of the three deities who stands equal to Mikey, makes his appearance. He is the representative from Rokohara Tandai, the unparalleled, Toronto South. And not long after that suddenly came a group of bikers gang. They are the Rokohara Tandai gang, who suddenly surrounded Takemichi and Draken. In the midst of the noisy exhaust noise of the bikers gang, Toronto approached Draken and he said, Partner up with me. One of the three deities attacked. Their objective is to recruit. Then Draken said to South, No matter how many times you ask my answer will always be the same South. I will never join Rokohara Tandai. I've already retired. That said, I don't want to be involved in whatever business you guys are up to. Then in a loud voice, South said, Retired? Oi, Draken. South suddenly gave Draken a punch, which made Draken fall to the ground. Takemichi and Inui were shocked to see Draken who fell on the ground with just one hit from South. Then South said, I will never forgive you if you decide to retire. Then why was Tokyo Manji Gang called the strongest? Draken stood back up after receiving a punch from Shout. Then Draken replied, you piece of shit. Hearing Draken's answer made South even angrier. And again for the second time, South gave Draken a punch, and it made Draken fall to the ground. With a face full of anger South said, to make an era for the delinquents. We share the same ideals about that. So I came to Tokyo just to defeat the Tokyo Manji gang. To have you retire now is unforgivable. The strongest stays the strongest even after they got eaten and killed. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. Work under me, or die right here now, that's the only choice you got now Draken. Then while looking at Takemichi, South said, what do you say, former first division captain? Takemichi was surprised when he was called. What's with that innocent face, as if you don't get anything to do with this? You are next. Takemichi looks really scared. No hold on. I just time leapt here, and now I'm in huge trouble already? Suddenly one of the members of the gang Rokohara Tandai just flew, and fall to the ground right in front of Takemichi. Then someone called South and he said, Don't go off and act like you are the big guy. You should take notice of people around you. He is number two in Brahmin Gang or Black Dragon's first generation vice president. Akashi Takeomi. And not only Rokohara Tandai Gang, Suddenly at that time the entire Brahmin gang assembled at the crossroads. That's a huge number of them. Two out of the three deities are here. And in an instant, the situation became a confrontation among the superiors of Tokyo. Is this the starting of the Great War? At that time it started to rain, and it increased the tension in the place. Then South said, What brings you here? Brahmin. Akashi replied, It's raining. Shin used to tell me this. You sure are the rain bringer. Then in a loud voice Akashi said. I'm not here to deal with Rokohara Tandai. The one I want to deal with is Hanagaki Takemichi. I've come to scout you. Takemichi was shocked and wondered. Me? Why me? Akashi answered. Yeah, it's you who I want. Suddenly someone came and he said. Oi, we can't allow you to do that. We won't give in. He is Rokohara Tandai top dog. Kakucho. Akashi said. So their trump card is here, huh? Why the hell are you under South? Got a change of heart after your king died? Kakucho said. I don't want to hear that coming from you. Did you forget about Sano Shinichiro? 
Hearing those words Akashi looks angry. Suddenly, in the midst of the commotion, several executive members of the Rokuhara Tandai gang came up to the two of them. You both were quite the pacifists. Aren't you Akashi? He is Rokuhara Tandai number 4. Mochizuki Kanji. Then someone came and said, First generation Black Dragons Akashi Takeomi? It's I, the ninth generation Black Dragon Captain. The great Madarame Shien. He is Rokuhara Tandai number 5. Shien Madarame. Man, I don't care about this whole mess. I guess we have to get involved anyhow. A war is gonna start around here so why not? Rokuhara Tandai number 3. Heitani Rindo. And Rokuhara Tandai number 2. Heitani Ron. Takemichi was surprised. Former Tenjiku members? The worst generation are all assembled here. Rokuhara Tandai is huge trouble. Is a huge war really gonna start here? But how is this Akashi dude still keeping his composure? While laughing, and enjoying his cigarette Akashi said, a bunch of bloodthirsty people around right now. Being young sure is nice. Right, Senju? Suddenly someone ran. And he threw an umbrella at South. Then with a quick reflex South dodged the attack. But when South's attention is distracted by an umbrella, suddenly someone while flying landed a kick right on South's head. And then he landed in front of Takemichi and he said, My umbrella. I don't want to get wet. So, let's do this. He is Brahmin boss, Kawaragi Senju. With an umbrella in his hand, one more of the three deities appears. The voltage of the situation increases. Takemichi is surprised to see Senju's arrival. Hold on, this little guy. Is Brahmin's boss? Okay wait a minute, before we continue. So we don't get confused, I'll just explain here, Kawaragi Senju is actually a girl, but at this time Takemichi doesn't know that. Okay, back to the story. After being attacked by Senju, South said, Grazioso, Kawaragi Senju, I'm getting all nervous. Suddenly Madarame stepped closer to Senju and in a loud voice he said, What are you doing scaring our boss like that? Don't get too cocky, you fucking shrimp. Senju said, who the fuck are you? I am a ninth generation black dragon. Suddenly someone grabbed Madarame's shoulder. And beat Madarame until he fell to the ground and fainted. You are a disgrace to black dragon. So cut that shit out already. He is Brahmin's top executive. Or former captain of black dragon's guard. Arashi Keizo also known as Benke. Takemichi wonders, what does he mean by grace to Black Dragon? Why mention it now? Then Inui said, that's Benke from the first generation Black Dragon. At that time Benke was seen approaching Senju, and he scolded him. Senju, Brahmin is not here today to brawl. Our objective is Hanagaki Takemichi. Senju said, you're so loud Benke. Takemichi thought, oh yeah, I've completely forgotten it too. They are here to scout me. But why? Suddenly Kakucho ran up to Benke. Then he gave a powerful punch. And it made Benke bounce and fall to the ground. The Brahmin gang members who saw it were shocked. Benke flew with just one hit. Then Kakucho said, if Takemichi wishes to return to the world of delinquency, he belongs to us, Rokuhara Tandai. Right Takemichi? Takemichi is confused by the current situation. With a smile, and enjoying his cigarette Akashi said, as expected from someone who's the all-no teaming. A tough bunch aren't you, Rokuhara? Then South said, well, I didn't recruit the strongest in Tenjiku for nothing. Akashi said, this gets the blood pumping, doesn't it Waka? Suddenly someone appeared behind Kakucho, and he said, no, it doesn't. If I cared enough, this guy wouldn't be standing alive. He is Brahmin's top executive, or former Black Dragon special attack unit. Amaoshi Wakasa, also known as Waka. Takemichi was very very surprised after seeing these monsters coming one by one to that place. 
Then at that time Benkei scolded Waka. Hey, don't just appear glamorously out of nowhere Waka. Waka said, I'm just following Senju's orders. The members of Rokuhara Tandai wonder, how come Benkei is standing up after taking a punch from Kakucho? Then Inui explained to Takemichi, those are the living legends. They're the best duo from the first generation Black Dragon, Waka and Benkei. And then, first generation Vice President, the God of War Akashi Takeomi. This is the founding members of first generation Black Dragon. The generation that was led by Sano Shinichiro. The guys who led the number one gang in Japan. And now, the mysterious man leading the living legends. The unmatched, Kawaragi Senju. Suddenly Draken got up and said in a loud voice, what the hell are you guys hyping each other up for? Should we continue where we left off? South? It's been a while since this engine has gotten heated up. Let's get this party started. Until here this episode, what do you think? Give your opinion in the comments for the next episode. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the latest videos from us. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy and see you later.